The 5th Annual Lucas Oil Jet Bodine Bobsled Challenge presented by Whalen Engineering staged in Lake Placid, New York on the historic Mount Van Overberg Olympic Bobsled Track. A mixture of NASCAR, NHRA, and off-road racers challenged the track. But first, on the opening ceremonies at the Olympic Center in Lake Placid, the drivers all received historic 1980 USA Olympic hockey jerseys. That's the way they kicked off the weekend. They also unveiled the colors of the USA Olympic bobsled team sleds, which are Bodines, at the upcoming Vancouver Winter Olympics. Next day on the track, it was extremely cold. The track was fast. The action was also furious. Number of crashes, no one was hurt. Melanie Troxell making her debut at the Bodine Bobsled Challenge. She's labeled the fastest woman on the planet from her top fuel days. Troxell posts a great time. She finishes now knowing she can at least win a bronze medal. Two sleds yet to go. Jag Coughlin, Pro Stock Champion. Coughlin comes down. He cannot match Troxell's time, but he at least guarantees himself a bronze medal. There's one sled yet to go. For said, won this event five different times. Said comes down the track, but Troxel looking on, he cannot match Troxel's time. Troxel wins the gold. Said falls to third. Jake Coughlin walks away with the silver. That was the first of two races. The second race in Lake Placid was the NHRA versus NASCAR. Also, a lot of crashes in this competition. It came down to the fastest woman on the planet. Melanie Troxell against 2009 NASCAR Rookie of the Year, Joey Logano, in a head-to-head -head battle. Troxell went first and at the bottom. She could only look up as the upcoming superstar of NASCAR, Joey Logano, wins the event going away. Joey Logano, the 2010 NASCAR versus NHRA champion. What a weekend it was for the United States bobsled team for raising awareness of the sport and raising money to build the fastest sleds for our USA Olympic athletes. For more information on the Bodine Bobsled Project, go to www.bodinebobsled.com.